Biology is the study of living organisms. The other air is pointing to the, to the neck. But along the way, every student finds out that life can be complicated. This is how I roll when I was a student. I, was like, I knew everybody. I was like, hey, what's up? Jason Griffin teaches biology at Tri-County Tech in the upstate. Uh, that, that's going to be like the central mayor. I've got a lot of experiences so that I can share with the students. I'm my favorite teacher. What you got? Jason is a living example of how life often finds a way to adapt. Probably stuff up. I was honestly kind of shocked to see a teacher teaching a course that's so hands-on as biology with uh, the disability of having one arm. My parents forgot to tell me that I was uh, disabled or whatnot. And when you're never told what's impossible, the possibilities are endless. I guess that's my drug. Life found a way. You know, balance issues, I, um, your, bo your body just compensates. <laughs> He's part of the Roger C. Peace Rehab Hospital's paracycling team, competing all over the country. <sighs> the amount of people that, that I've been able to reach just by doing what I love, you know, is, uh, is it, that, that's pretty incredible. What a jaw-dropping ride, considering the moment 38 years ago that changed everything. Jason wasn't old enough to remember that day, but his dad, Larry, can't possibly forget. I mean, there's not a day that we don't think about it. I lost my arm when I was two. You know, it was just a freak uh, thing. He, uh, he got out of the house one day. You know how kids are. You know, they'll get gone in a split second. And next thing I know, it happened. I backed the lawnmower up, and he was there. Growing up, Jason refused to wear a prosthetic arm. I was like, I'm not wearing that, Doc. He says biology and faith we're on his side. God always gives you two everything, eyeballs, ears, legs and arms, you know, lungs. Well, of course, they resemble each other a lot. Not to mention, there were two Griffin brothers. Jason and Larry never imagined living without John. He was young. 27. It was a shame, but. Uh, died of alcohol poisoning. You know, it happened. The profound pain they rarely talk about became Jason's motivation. I took his bike and decided that I was going to finish what he started. John's memory inspired Jason's pro motorcycle racing career. He's won two national championships along the way. I mean, I beat some of the best guys in the country. Trying not to dwell at painful memories while never forgetting. I mean, nobody can ever prepare you. No, I mean, we didn't, we didn't see that coming. Driving home that no matter how bad things get, life finds a way. It's really been more of a benefit than anything else. Look at everything I've been able to do. Jason could teach us a lot about living life to the fullest because that part he has down to a science. Maybe get a, get a gold medal in Rio in 2016. That's at the top. <laughs> so.